Stark. Marty, have you found my younger <laughs> self yet? So, Doc, does this ring a bell? Oh, think, Emmett, think. <laughs> H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. I Good grief! <laughs> Is that me? I sound so... Young? Young? I was gonna say intense. I forgot how wound up I used to get. Oh, I see. Yeah, but what are you muttering about? Oh, that's easy. It's Ivanov's conundrum. Just conundrum. tell my younger self that H equals the Hamiltonian operator. Oh. Won't giving him the answer mess up the time stream? Only if it turns out that reality is actually nothing more than a holographic illusion created by the interplay of subatomic particles on a vast two-dimensional membrane. What the fuck? So... It'll be fine. Dude, what did he just say? So my grandpa. Yeah, so I bumped into it, the soup kitchen. My grandfather. No! <gasps> Don't worry, I didn't talk to him or change his future or anything. Walking. Good. I wish I could, though. This era's tannin is treating him like dirt. Don't worry. If history plays out as it's supposed to, he'll soon be out from under Kit Tannen's thumb and free to live out his life as a humble accountant with your grandma. Ooh. What was her name again? Sylvia. Right. Sylvia. Sylvia. Uh, found your notebook. I know this really isn't the right time or place, but I found your notebook. Ah, so that's where I left it. Why'd you bring it here? Because the bank's selling off all your stuff. Ooh. I can't do that. That's what I keep trying to tell him. Well, you hold on to it for safekeeping. We'll deal with my financial situation in 1986, after we saved me from a grisly death in 1931. Oh, shit. Edna Strickland. What do you know about Edna Strickland? Edna? We never really socialized when I was younger. She was a few years older than me, and we traveled in different socioeconomic circles. Why do you ask? The fuck? She thinks you're a hero for burning down that speakeasy. She's doing a story on you. A Ooh. story? Oh, yes. Now I remember. Ask Edna, the etiquette column that doubled as a pro-temperance soapbox. She believed that the consumption of alcohol would inevitably lead to a complete societal breakdown. Ooh. Sounds like a fun gal. You should have seen her when the hippies started showing up in the 60s. She just somehow lost her mind. <laughs> that would explain a lot. Uh, what else? Kid Tannen. What's the story with this Kid Tannen jerk, anyway? Just keep his about father? Too? By this time next year, he'll be pulling down a life sentence in San Quentin. There was even a song about it. Wait, Ooh. if Biff will be born in 1938, and Kid will be in prison... As I recall, he escaped from prison in 1937 for about three hours. Damn. That's a busy three hours. No kidding. Damn. Yeah. How'd you wind up in jail in 1931, anyway? During my trip to the past, I decided to look into one of Hill Valley's unsolved mysteries. Okay, the fire at the speakeasy. Exactly. I thought I was safely hidden across the street. But when the fire started, there was a tremendous explosion, and I was knocked unconscious by a stray brick. <laughs> when I woke up, I was here in jail, charged with arson. That's yes. horrible. I know. Worse yet, I still don't know who started the fire. <laughs> uh, where have you been? been all this time? I missed you. I've missed you too, Marty. Yeah, but Marty. I thought it was important to let you live your own life for a while, free from the insanity of time travel. I gotta admit, it was nice to not have my family history blowing up in my face for a few months. Yeah. Besides, I've been busy raising my own unpredictable teenagers. What? All right, how's the family? So how are Clara and the kids? They're fine, fine. Right now, we're trying to decide where to send Jules and Vern to college. Ooh. Clara prefers the 2020s, but I'm partial to the 1960s. <laughs> we're planning on visiting you and Jennifer in 2011 soon. Me and Jennifer? 2011. In 2011? Oh, forget I said anything. Oh. Alright. Yeah, where did you come from? Where did the DeLorean come from? The last time I saw it, it had been smashed to pieces by a train. Yeah. It's a I'm fantastic story. Do you remember when the DeLorean got struck by lightning in 1955? Yeah? Unbeknownst to either of us, the lightning produced what a temporal duplicate of the time machine. One that was tossed 70 years into the future. What? What? What's going on? I found out about it during a trip to 2025 and recovered it just in time to stop Griff Tannen from vandalizing the time stream. Griff. Heavy. So that DeLorean... It's for all intents and purposes the exact same machine as the original. <gasps> Plus or minus little <clears throat> bells and whistles I've added over the years, of course. Yes. All right, and we doing what? Why? So, what were you doing in 1931 anyway? 
Oh, nothing terribly exciting. Indulging in a little personal nostalgia, oh. picking up a few rare out-of-print books to surprise Clara on her birthday, oh, solving a historical mystery or two. The usual. The usual. The usual. You lead a pretty unusual life, Doc. It's an unusual universe, Marty. It is. All right, we're done now? Oh, come on. I hate to tell you, Doc, but your last time departed display is on the fritz. It is. It is? So how did you find me? I found one of Edna Strickland's shoes in the DeLorean. How did one of her shoes get in the DeLorean? I don't know. Einstein took it from her. He did? How strange. Einie almost never attacks people. Not without a good reason, anyway. Yeah, Einie. All right, let's get out of here. Hang in there, Doc. Hang in there, Doc. Not the best choice of words, Marty. True, is isn't. All right, let's get him out of there. Marty, you so fucking slow. Beep, 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 beep. All right, let's find younger, younger Doc. Where is he? He's in there. Maybe. Maybe I don't know where is he. Oh, he's over there talking to himself again. Fucking weirdo. I'm it. Will you just give me a chance? Harassment's a federal crime, Mr. Corleone. Oh, yeah? Maybe H equals the Hamiltonian operator. Ooh. What did you just say? I said maybe H equals the... <laughs> Hamiltonian operator? Yeah. You yeah. ain't Scott. If H is a Hamiltonian, then H to the A multiplied by the inverse of H can only be the same as the expectation value for A. What the <laughs> fuck? That's it. That's the solution to Ivanov's conundrum, the problem I've been wrestling with in my head all week. Yay. I'm sure you would have figured it out by yourself in a day or two. The way you figured out how to build that rocket power drill. Ooh. Where did you learn so much about science? <gasps> I'm from the planet Volcron. Vol not Vol Vulcan. Well, it's like this. You know about my rocket power <laughs> drill. Then there can only be one explanation. Time travel. What? You're from the patent office. Oh my god. I confess goodness. I didn't quite know what to expect when I sent the paperwork, but I never expected this. Welcome! I'm at your service. What can I do for you? Uh, give me that fucking drill. I really, really need your Can drill. I see your rocket power drill? Of course, of course. Naturally, it's just a scale model, but it's nearly operational. I can show it to you, say, first thing in the morning. Ooh, no, 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 no. I need it tonight. Nah, that's no good. I need to see a full-size model. <gasps> that's <gasps> fully operational. <gasps> oh, tonight. shit. <gasps> Otherwise, we'll have to award the patent to a competing inventor, uh, Dr. McCoy. Oh, shit. It can't be done. I mean, it might be possible to construct a full-size working model in that time frame, but I haven't got the main ingredient for the fuel. <gasps> Oil. I'll get it for you. What is it? 190 proof grain alcohol. Ooh. And you know how difficult it is to get a hold of alcohol these days. Especially now that someone's blown up the speakeasy. And besides, there's no way I can get off work until I've delivered the subpoena. It's part of the investigation into the business affairs of Kid Tannen. Kid is it Tannen. vitally important you see that rocket power drill today? Yes. yes. Is it vitally important you deliver that subpoena today? Yes! Listen, Ooh. I'll help you deliver it, and I'll see to what you get the alcohol you need. <laughs> It'll help you get that drill finished by tonight. Deal? Deal. Here's the subpoena. Ooh. Ew. I've got a subpoena my grandpa. Oh, no. <gasps> Shh. It's Kid Tannen. Oh, shit. Hey, I, I just saw him at the soup kitchen yelling at Arthur McFly. I'm not surprised. Arthur does the books for his business. What Ooh, kind what of business? A, what That's loser. what the DA is trying to find out. Let's go talk to him. No! Ooh. Why not? Kid Tannen can tell us where Arthur's hiding. Yeah, well, he can also have us fitted for a Chicago overcoat. Uh-oh. Alright. I'll hear him talk to him. Oh! Edna! Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Corleone. Mr. Corleone. Try not to draw any undue attention my way. I'm on the trail of a hot new scoop, as we in the newspaper Ooh. business say. What is it? What's the scoop? I've heard rumors that something shady is going on at the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen. <gasps> it's under new management, you know. Oh. And, oh, we mustn't jump to any conclusions. Not till the facts are in. I hope to heaven it is just a rumor. That soup kitchen is the front line in the good fight. If it goes bad, what will happen to the Stay Sober Society? Not to mention all the charitable Why institutions so that depend on me for soup deliveries. What's going on? I'm sorry about the way yeah, Einstein lit into Einstein. you back there. I don't know what got into him. Well, I hope you've learned to keep him under control. Nope. Yeah, I found someone to keep him distracted. 
Very good. Now let's see if you know your multiplication tables. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? What's the Stay Sober yeah, Society? society. You haven't heard of the SSS? They do the most marvelous work, taking oh, hopeless SSS. drunken bums and turning them into former hopeless drunken bums. I'm what one of the founding the members. And not to say that I was ever, well, you know. Anyway, we've always met in the cellar of the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen, but for some reason the new managers don't want us down there, so we're stuck. We've got Ooh, nowhere to that, meet. That's where the beer is. Yeah, it makes you make beers? hot soup deliveries. It's one of my many small contributions to the good cause. Healthy bodies, healthy souls, or so one hopes. Yeah, I pick sure. up barrels of hot soup at the kitchen, and I deliver them hither and thither. Hill Valley Orphanage, the St. Francis Xavier Ranch for Unwanted Children, Foggy Mountain Home for the Incurably Insane, Shady Acres Rest Home. Oh, I can barely keep track of them all. It's a very big job. Very. Yeah, what's the other Did you story? finish the story you interviewed me for? Yeah, about Carl Sagan? Yes, but those pig-headed editors at the paper rejected it. That they fast? said my story was slanted, and that I was glorifying a suspected arsonist. Ooh. As if their stories aren't always glorifying the criminal vermin that run this town. This whole thing makes me so mad I could spit. Though of course I never would. Spit, There's an ordinance against it, and it's so untidy. Oh my god. Uh, I can help. Hey, I can help you deliver soup. I don't need a lot of time to charities. Oh? Which ones? The, um, Mario Brothers. <laughs> ah, yes. The, the Italians do so many good works. Fucking if you'll Mario. just fix it so I can pick up the barrels of soup. Now hold your horses, let's not get over oh eager. I drive the soup cycle in this town, and I'm not about to turn it over to an upstart. But, if you're well connected with the local uh, charitable nah. institutions... Yeah? You can let me know when they're running low on soup. Okay. Uh, I know where to meet. I know a place where the Stay Sober Society can meet. Oh? Where? Uh... Uh... In the... In the park. You can meet in the park. No, that's no good. Too many of the members sleep in the park. Ooh. Uh, here. I know a place where the Stay Sober Society can meet. Oh? Where? where? The boss you speakeasy. could meet in the speakeasy, the one that got bombed last Wednesday. Now, wouldn't that be poetic irony? But I'm not sure the building is structurally oh, safe. Oh, come on. I know a place where the Stay Sober Society can meet. Oh? Where? Where? At the Brown Residence. The Brown Residence. You mean Judge Brown's place? Yeah, yes. I happen to be good friends with his son Emmett, and he's told me the judge would love to lend his place out for, you know, good causes like yours. Really? <gasps> That's the most generous, public-spirited offer I've received in a month of Sundays. Please, tell your friend Emmett we accept. We accept. The meeting isn't due to start for a little while, so that'll give our people some time to set up. Uh, As a matter of fact, charity. I do know a local charity that's running low on soup. Oh? Who? Ooh. Uh, the asylum. The insane asylum. Whose inmates are crazy for soup. Oh shit, there go- oh sh 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 where, where's she going? Wow. She texts it, okay? Alright, Edna, just think of all those poor unfortunates and hold your nose. Wow. Mr. Donnelly! Oh, bitch. Alright, take that shit. Oh. Oh, <gasps> that's the beer. Oh. Where's she going? Oh. I don't know what it did. That's fine. All right, let's go talk to my boy, uh, fucking Johnny. Not Johnny. Fucking uh, kid. Yeah, kid. Let's talk to him. Oh, kid. What the hell, matches? You you got kiwi all over my socks. Oh, sorry, boss. So get boss. out of here. Yeah. How here. about you? Huh? I'm sitting at a shoe shine booth. You walk up. Ooh, Either okay. you're here to shine my shoes, or you got a death wish. Which is it? Ooh, death wish. Why not? I'm gonna your shoes. The hell? How about Edna? Edna Strickland thinks your soup kitchen might not be on the up and up. That dame gets on my nerves. Got a great dame. pair of games, though. Ooh. 
Hey, I represent United Charities of Hill Valley. Can you authorize me to pick up soup from your establishment and deliver it to some very deserving souls? Nah, <laughs> that Strickland dame's got the charity racket pretty much locked up. No point in giving her competition. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I How come you won't let the up? Stay Sober Society hold their meeting in the cellar of your soup kitchen? We got other plans for that cellar, and it don't necessarily involve staying sober. Ooh. What's your racket? I guess you won't talk about your business. Why not? I got nothing to hide. I recently acquired controlling interest in the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen. Ooh. Isn't a soup kitchen an odd yeah. line of business for a guy like you? I like soup. Plus, I, I got like a hot soup. as big as all outdoors. Uh, buff a little hotter. I want to see myself in the toes. Oh, what a, what, what, what a prick. I'm looking for yeah, a guy named Arthur McFly. Grandpa? He's my, uh, sort of a relative. Well, he's my employee. And he's very busy today. Mm. Yeah, do you know why so find when do you think Arthur will be leaving the office? When I tell him he can leave the office. Hey, you missed a spot. Oh, what a fucking prick. Yeah, isn't he? Yeah, isn't that his hat? Isn't that Arthur McFly's hat you're holding? It was McFly's hat. Now it's my peanut bowl. <laughs> oh, what a dick. Yeah, can I buy it off you? Actually, I, I almost want those peanuts. Can I have some peanuts? Why not? I'm a magnanimous kind of guy. Go yeah. ahead, knock yourself out. Thanks. We moved those that. Hey, kid. Yeah. What the hell is that? Ooh! Hey. He got the hat. What did you do? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. <clears throat> what the fuck? That was weird. Oh, he's going in. Give me that hat, you lousy crook. Ooh. Emmett. Ooh. Oh, oh. Oh, shit. We doing Emmett? Ooh, Emmett. Emmett. Run. Ah. And now they're gone. Nobody makes a monkey out of Kid Tannen! Oh shit. Oh! He stepped in shit. Ooh! That sounded hard as hell. Ow! Fix me up! Got punched hard. Hey, he got the hat though. Where do you learn how to move like that? Sandlot football. <laughs> they used to call me the streak. Get Ooh. out! Hat. Oh, what the fuck? That was weird. All right, now we need to. Oh, look at that tree. Now let's give that back. No. We need beer, so we're going down there now. So let's get some beer. Yes. Ooh, ooh, I'm it. Right, right, right. Okay, so we okay. Oh, that's the beer. Hey, cue ball. Hey, what? Cue the ball. truck just arrived with a fresh shipment of uh, soup. <laughs> soup, soup. Well, uh, this is the regular soup, and this Ooh. is the special soup. Special. Right. Special. <laughs> wow. Hey, what are you doing? Ooh. I'm spicing up the soup. It's my secret recipe. Listen, <laughs> this ain't the Savoy, and we ain't here to feed these bozos no fancy soup. The boss has got a business to rebuild, so knock off the goofing and mind your post. Ooh. All right, all right. Just try the soup. You look sad. Well? Uh, I can see why you want to keep this a secret. It tastes like shit. And now he's sitting down the newspaper. Alright, where's my boy Eddie? Cuba! Excuse me. You talking to me? Ooh. Can I have some soup? Can I have a bowl of soup? We're a soup kitchen. What do you think? <laughs> Wait, what, what the hell? Where did that come from? Ew, I shouldn't have had it. Ew. 
love the soup. What kind of soup is this? It tastes like scrolle ribolita. Ooh. I was gonna say week old cabbage. Everyone's a critic. Look, what is all I got to work with is this two-bit soup in a barrel and spice rack that hadn't been restocked since the Coolidge administration. Ew. What do you think I should do to perk this slop up? Let's see. Have you tried... Uh... Uh... Chili powder? Giving the soup a little heat, maybe? Why, is it getting cold? No, I, I mean, <laughs> like chili powder. Muy caliente. Muy. Oh, bit of a tough guy, huh? Actually, I like it spicy too, but yeah. it's gotta be edible for the common folks. <laughs> Come on, a little dash isn't gonna kill anyone. True. Ah, uh, heck. You got moxie, kid. Let's spice it up a bit, shall we? Of course. Yeah. Oh. Okay, moved it. Alright, now what? Okay, so you moved it. Crummy soup. Yeah. Why is we eating it? Fucking idiot. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Cuba! Ahem. <laughs> okay. Alright, that's not weird. Hey! Um, hey! Uh, never mind. Alright, so, so talk to Emmett. Oh, God. I better not talk to him. I don't want to mess up his timeline. Okay. Emmett. Huddle up, Emmett. Huddle? Just Football. listen up for a second. Alright. Any ideas Any about idea. how to get the hooch? 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 The alcohol, Emmett. Ah, one might come to the conclusion that the hooch is being hidden in some of those barrels. Ooh, you're probably right, but which ones? Yeah. Now, if I could get my hands on some of those barrels, I could weigh them and compare their specific gravity. Specific gravity? What the come fuck? on, Emmett. Kids goons aren't going to let us do an experiment specific on their barrels. Gravity. No, I suppose you're right. We'll just have to ask the guy behind the counter. Oh, you won't do what? Anything. Ask him if any of his barrels are filled with illegal moonshine? Get real here. Yeah. Well, I imagined a modicum of Sweet subtlety sorry. would be used. Subtlety. Right. Uh, okay, yeah, good Damn it, I can't get into the door over there. Those tables are jamming it shut. The door? So your plan is to just waltz in there and take a barrel of alcohol? Yeah. Uh, no, uh, of course not. That would be stupid, right? I'll say. Still, wow. I'd like to get that door open. I can't do anything from out here. Well, it's a simple matter of physics. A lever, some sort of stop. Let me see what I can come up with. All right. All right, I got, I got an idea. Oh, is he done? Oh, no. Shit. All right, I'm going to ask him. Cue ball. <clears throat> What is it, kid? I want a trick. This used to be a soup so kitchen. So this place used to be a soup kitchen. What do you mean used to be? <clears throat> Despite recent changes in ownership, this joint is still available for the purposes of distributing food to the needy and the not so well to do. And no other purposes whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Yeah, why is, why is Kid Tan running What's a running tough guy place? like Kid Tannen doing running a soup kitchen? Mr. Tannen purchased Ooh, the soup Mr. kitchen from the Sisters of Mercy in an effort to repair his reputation as a respectable community figure after his fine name was besmirched by the malignant and malicious malicious <laughs> the actions of the misguided vandals that 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 done burned down his place of business. Aww. Speak easy. I cannot confirm nor deny any claims of so-called illegal <laughs> bootlegging at the the speakeasy. Just eat your damn soup, pipsqueak. <laughs> so why is soup in a barrel? Why is the soup in a barrel? Cause it's hard to ladle off the floor. What the hell, I need more. Id no, I got more ideas. Okay, I I've got some more ideas about your soup. Do tell. Let's Do see. Tell. Have you tried parsley? Parsley? It might help to uh. Compliment the mellow flavor of the cabbage. True. Compliment the mellow. What are you talking about? Trust me. Hmm. Hmm. You might be on to something, kid. Let me see what I got. Yeah, what do you got? 
Lay out. I'm running out of ideas here. That's the same container. Oh my god. <laughs>